You've heard of a summer camp, a soccer camp, a boot camp. Some are enjoyable, some are torture. Well, a group of eight young men have given up their summer camps for an app camp. Their summer holidays for an app camp where they're learning how to make their fortunes in the mobile phone technology. Our education correspondent Maggie Taggart went to see what they were up to. Parents may think this is what their young people do constantly, hanging out, playing games or checking applications on their phones. But this is a pastime with a purpose. These undergraduates have been selected for a summer camp to help them invent their own money-spinning phone apps. It's lots of work and no pay. It was a big sacrifice. I realised like going into second year is going to be a lot harder than this summer, but it's so worth it. I'm so glad I came here. One thing you'll have to remember is if you have a scroll view here, Kainos has more than 200 computing staff in Belfast, but it's constantly on the lookout to replace those who leave. It's recruited 70 this year, and there's fierce competition for the high flyers. These eight were whittled down from 100 applicants. Well, hopefully it's a win-win situation. Hopefully we both benefit. Um, Kainos will benefit because we will get early access to some of the cream of the first-year students. The students will benefit in that we've given them an intensive eight-week training course to learn how to build these apps, help support them um, launching them on the App Store and hopefully that'll help make their name in the app world. It's a full day, five days a week for two months for these young men. Their ideas won them a place. Tide Times and I. It's just going to be a tide time finder for the coastal regions of Northern Ireland. It's a finance manager called Budget Buddy and will allow people to um, input their incomes and their outcomes. As Peter works on his puzzle game, he thinks this is better than university. It's really tailored for your needs, you know, they go at your pace and they're always there to help you with any problem. While you can't necessarily get that with a lecture of 300 people. So now I can check what time the tide goes out in Port Rush or no, I should check really and see if I'm going to be in the red at the end of this month. Or maybe I should just sharpen up my math skills. Or even better, how to navigate the galaxy. Such a choice of bright ideas if these students' apps actually make it to the marketplace. Maggie Taggart, BBC Newsline in Belfast. Let's hope they're successful. Now one of the